Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a quick video for you guys. As you write in the title, I'm going to show you how to install Google Chrome extensions on your Android and the process is very simple. There's no need for root, ADB programming or any weird technical skills. But before I show you how to do this, I want to thank VPN for sponsoring this video. If you enjoy surfing the web as most of us do, you should consider installing this VPN app for better privacy. VPN is really easy to use. Just tap one button and you're connected. It provides extra security, especially on public Wi-Fi networks as it encrypts your data, doesn't log any of your internet activity, and it allows you to change your location to up to 50 different regions. On top of that, since VPN has over 2,500 servers, you get a silky smooth connection, websites still load quickly, and it provides a terrific online gaming experience. And for that cherry on top, you can connect 10 devices to the same account. Currently, their five-year annual plan is 85% off, so you have the chance of paying less than two bucks a month for an amazing service. I'll drop a link down below if you want to check it out. Anyways, Kiwi Browser in the Play Store is the app that lets you run Chrome extensions. They just released an update supporting this. Now I know what you're thinking. I have to use a random third-party browser just to use this feature? I'm just gonna stick with Google Chrome even though it doesn't support Chrome extensions because it's still the best Android browser out there. Well, just hold your horses there, buddy, because Kiwi Browser is Chromium based, so it almost looks identical to Google Chrome. And it even has a few extra features that Google Chrome doesn't have, including a built-in dark theme, a more powerful ad blocker, you can enable experimental Chrome flags such as Chrome Duplex, which places a toolbar at the bottom for better one-handed use, or just drop down the entire address bar by enabling an option called Bottom Toolbar within Kiwi's accessibility settings. Enabling this feature will give you an extra button known as the Reachability button. This physically drops the entire page so you don't have to readjust your hand to just tap a link at the top of the screen. It uses a new Chrome Canary feature called Edge History Swipe which allows you to switch back and forth between your previously visited websites by just swiping from the edges of the screen. And now, as if that wasn't enough, Kiwi Browser supports Chrome extensions. Here's how it works. First, type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash extensions in the address bar. Then within this page, enable developer mode. Then at the bottom of the page, you'll see a link and text that says find extensions in the Kiwi web store. Tap on that link and it'll redirect you to the Chrome web store where you can download and install any Chrome extension of your choice. Every extension except for the ones that rely on x86 binary code. And for obvious reasons, since every extension is supposed to work on desktops only, a lot of the extensions you run may not look that great or run properly on your phone. But I was still able to use Adblock Plus for extreme ad blocking, Toolbox for Google Play Store, which enhances the Google Play Store webpage by adding an APK mirror, Android Police, and App Brain buttons, Grammarly, which is a powerful tool to fix your grammar in any text field. Granted, it was only usable when I enabled Desktop Site, Honey to automatically find and apply coupon codes when you shop online, Hover Zoom to enlarge pictures quickly by long pressing on them, and those were just a few of the ones that I tried and worked fairly well. There's a lot more to explore. That's the easiest way to install Chrome extensions on the Kiwi browser. However, if you want to install Chrome extensions that may not be in the Chrome web store, there's a harder method that you can try out. It involves loading up zip files into your phone storage and messing around with the file in a file manager. It's mostly for someone who's a little more technical. I'll drop a link down below to an XDA article that shows you how to do it. Either way, that's my short tutorial on how to install Chrome extensions on your Android device. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe for a weekly video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kapow!